You're watching Tag TV. India is well known around the world owing to its historical background, diverse cultures and interesting traditions. Its ancient scriptures and texts have been the way of life of its people for thousands of years. Today, the country is taking huge strides in the field of science and technology, paving a way towards a progressive India. So friends, I'm your host Surbhi Sharma and today in our episode of My India, we will take a look at some of the stories that very well showcase the unique culture and prosperity of a country stretching from Himalayas to Kanyakumari. Himachal Pradesh is a land of cultural diaspora. Words fail to define the mixture of different cultures one can see here. Its festivals that vary in terms of scale and size are very well known for pulling in tourists from across the globe. Recently, the Kullu district of the state got soaked in week-long Dashera festivities that were a perfect blend of rich culture, history and ritual. Take a look. Known for its beautiful gorges, Chatti mountains, streams and ancient temples, Kullu certainly enthralls the visitors during its Dashera festival, also regarded as international Kullu Dashera Utsav. Held in the Dhalpur Medan of Kullu, the festival was announced as universal celebration in 1972 that starts from Vijay Dashmi and lasts for seven days in the month of October. With music and colour creating a beautiful ambience, the first day of the festival begins with members of the former royal family of Kulu performing their annual rituals and offering prayers to Hindu god and goddesses. After that, the procession of Lord Raghunath or Lord Rama starts alongside different local deities carried on a chariot over the town. This year, more than 331 deities were invited to Raghunath Radh Yatra who accompanied the chariot of the chief deity. Thousands of people from across the country and outside attended the festival to experience the richness of Himachali culture and traditions. I find this festival so interesting. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. All of the colour, all of the music, uh, it's, it's amazing. It's different, uh, but really interesting, and it's fantastic to be able to witness such an incredible festival. The origin of the Kullu Dashera dates back to 17th century, when Raja Jagat Singh was the erstwhile ruler of the valley. As per the legend, the Raja carried the idol of Lord Raghunathji from Ayodhya to Kullu in order to get rid of the curse put on him by a peasant. After that, he invited all local deities to perform a ritual in Lord Raghunath's honour, who then became the main deity of the region. Since then, the assembly of the deities has become a custom and is attended by lakhs of people every year. The festival is unique in a way because it starts after the Dashara festivities culminate in the rest of the country and no effigies are burnt. Raja Jagat Singh, who was my Purvaj, the time of my time, took this parampara. And this is a very important thing for me, that the Chanmanas and Devi Devtaon of Ashirabad are also ये हमारा कुल्लू जिला ये देवभूमि के बच्चे-बच्चे के मन में रघुनाथ जी के लिए श्रद्धा है देवी देवताओं के लिए श्रद्धा है और जो हमारी अटूट परंपराएं हैं उनको जीवित रखने में मुझे सहयोग मिला है और मुझे विश्वास है कि ऐसा सहयोग आगे भी मिलता रहेगा निश्चित रूप से युग बदला है थोड़ा सा अंतर तो आना स्वाभाविक है लेकिन प्रसन्नता इस बात की है कि आज भी देव परंपरा यहां जीवित है 
Kulu Dashera represents the centuries-old tradition of the town and is much anticipated and commended celebration that marks the triumph of good over evil. Sufism has entrenched itself at the center of the cultural and spiritual life in India. The Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir serves as the richest reservoir of this tradition and this can be well witnessed during the hours of Sufi saints in the region when people cutting across religious lines gather under one roof. So giving a glimpse of this unique devotional culture, today we take you to the hours of Sai Ganji Sahib that was recently commemorated in the Rajori district. Take a look. Thousands of devotees recently thronged the picturesque Rajori district of Jammu and Kashmir to commemorate the urs of the revered Sufi saint, Sain Ganji Sahib. Cutting across religious lines, devotees offered their special prayers to the saint, who is believed to have performed years-long meditation in the snowy mountains of Pir Panjal range. Devotees took part in salutations, supplications, sermons and night-long prayers where Sufi scholars and Imams threw light on the life, religious service, teachings and spiritual strength of the saint who devoted his entire life to serve humanity. لاکھوں کی تعداد میں لوگ سال ہا سال پورے سال جو ہیں وہ مختلف مذہب کے لوگ جو ہیں وہ یہاں عقیدت اپنے لے کے یہاں آتے ہیں اور یہاں سے فیضیاب ہو کے جاتے ہیں آج آپ دیکھ رہے ہیں کہ آج یہ ان کا جو سالانہ برسی جو ہے وہ منائی جا رہی ہے اس میں بھی ہزاروں کی تعداد میں اس وقت یہاں لوگ جو ہیں وہ موجود ہیں وہ ہر ایک مذہب کے لوگ جو ہیں وہ یہاں اس وقت حاضر ہیں With its eclectic emphasis on tolerance and peaceful coexistence, Sufism has been guiding the life of Kashmiris for nearly 700 years. Forming an integral part of people ethos for the last several centuries, even today the Sufi traditions play an important role in their lives and connote them with an understanding of the world in all its spiritual dimensions. The teachings of Sufi saints still reverberate in every nook and corner of the state and continue to inspire people to live in peace and harmony. Saint Sai Ganji Sahib was also one among these Sufi saints whose message of oneness and brotherhood is still preached by the residents of the area. हर रंग और फिकर के हर मजहब और मिलत के लोग यहाँ मौजूद हैं और यहाँ से यही पैगाम जाता है कि यहाँ एक गठे रहना और अपने मुल्क के अंदर अपने देश को के लिए दुआएं की कि यार ला हमारे देश में अमर रहे और ये फिकलता फुलता रहे और नौ बहार आती रहे Alongside Urs, a community kitchen is also set up where people irrespective of their caste and community are provided with food. The holy celebration clearly indicates that the lesson of love and compassion that was once propagated by the Sufi saints is still having its roots deeply embedded in the rich culture and traditions of Jammu and Kashmir. Now a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. Indian musician M.B. Prakash follows a rare passion in the subcontinent, composing and tuning on an accordion. Prakash attributes his familiarity with the accordion, an instrument prominent in French music, to some musicians in southern Bengaluru city, where he grew up and his passion to Raj Kapoor. earlier days the accordion came into life uh, and also people's uh, notice notice because of uh, the raj kapoor raj kapoor put on the accordion and he acted in the movies so that had a very big charisma and then whole picked up <clears throat> the accordion as such is a difficult instrument because what happens is you have two hands doing continuously three kinds of work the right hand uses a different kind of a keyboard the left hand uses another kind of a keyboard and the left hand also does two movements that is it pulls and pushes like that popular bollywood actor from the 40s and 60s raj kapoor familiarized the indian audience with accordion when he often portrayed an innocent tramp 
who plays the instrument and wins hearts of the public. Indian fashion designers in New Delhi and Mumbai recently showcased their collection at the commencing of several fashion weeks for the upcoming winter and festive seasons. Indian Runway Week opened with a powerful rainbow show where designer Akash Agrawal presented his set in collection with colorful western dresses with a touch of Indian traditional style. Today's collection is about Athena, which is the goddess of art and creativity and which shows in each of my one piece over here. And the kind of colors I have used and the embroideries, they are from different cultures and different parts of India. Popular designer Nita Lulla, who is known for her grand Bollywood works, also presented her festive and wedding collection at Bombay Times Fashion Week. Canadian dancer, model and singer Nora Fatehi walked for Lulla at the show wearing a typical embellished traditional dress. October and November are festive seasons for India with Hindu festivals of Navratri, Diwali, Dashera, Bhaiduj and other festivities in the period, while big fat wedding season begins after Diwali. The nine-day Hindu festival of Durga Puja recently culminated with devotees across India immersing idols of Goddess Durga in water bodies in a symbolic farewell. In the eastern parts of the country, devotees, mostly women, participated in the social revelry with the conclusion of Navratri, which celebrates women in all their forms. They danced with joy and smeared vermilion on each other as a part of a traditional known as Sindhu Khela to mark the end of the festival. Devotees in New Delhi also used eco-friendly material for idol so that it doesn't pollute the water body and immerse the idol in a makeshift pond. Today is the last day of the pujo and uh, the goddess is going to be bid farewell with the uh, Sindur Khela. And uh, this is very, I'm very excited. I'm a Punjabi, but I have come all the way for this to play. It's my first time and I'm really, really ecstatic. The festival celebrates the victory of Hindu goddess Durga over the evil buffalo demon Mahishasur. It culminates on the 10th day when idols of the goddess are immersed in water bodies. Japanese companies have constantly been focusing on new technological innovations while being equally concerned about the environment. Recently, Entity Communications, through an exhibition, tried to promote digital transformation of society and technology to realize one smart world. On the other side, JFE Engineering Group is expected to develop a recycling society that is environment friendly, a report. Data technology is rapidly expanding and creating innovation all over the world. NTT Communications Forum 2019 was recently held in Tokyo to promote digital transformation of society and technology to realize one smart world. The forum also offered a variety of programs cooperating with NTT engineers and exhibition of advanced digital initiatives. Artificial Intelligence AI is one of the main themes in the exhibition. NTT display that how people can experience future working style with modern cutting-edge artificial intelligence technologies. AI operator can answer a wide range of inquiries by customer and if the customer decides to speak with the human operator, the AI connects with him, the human operator, and becomes an avatar reflecting the human operator's speech and even movement of the body. スマートワールドを実現する上でコミュニケーションズはあの様々なソリューションを提案したいと思ってるんですけれどもあのソリューションといって一般的にあのえっと
Through the exhibition, NTT Communications introduced various initiatives related to Smart World, the latest solution and service that utilize digital data. AI service called Takumi Eyes is also introduced. It can also track a person through multiple cameras. Although these technologies are widely useful for security purpose, they are also implemented in sports to give viewers a new level of experience. 複数のカメラを設置をしておりまして、その複数のカメラの映像をリアルタイムで同期配信するNTT研究所の技術を使って、このようなワイドなアングルな映像を生成をしております。選手の動きであったり、どの選手がどの場所にいるのか、そういったこと
in Mayurbanj district of Odisha, where both Hindus and Muslims came together to perform the rituals of Durga Puja. The Baripada town of Mayurbanj district of Odisha recently got soaked in the colours of communal harmony as Hindu Muslim came together to celebrate the auspicious Durga Puja. Though a Hindu festival, Muslims not just actively participated in the festivities but also ensured that they are conducted smoothly. Moreover, it was not for the first time that they have set such a beautiful example of brotherhood, but for the last 25 years, they have been working as the office bearers of Lal Bazar Durga Puja Committee in Baripada that is responsible for conducting the event. It is very secular. It's one of the most secular puja. Our most of the committee members are Muslims. And here we are adjoining to the Imam Bada. And Imam Bada and Durga Puja committee, mostly the same peoples are operating both of us. And we are, we will say, Lal Bajar Puja committee is the symbol of secularism in India. This year, the committee set up another president by celebrating Madhurga Puja with 100 kg of silver and gold ornaments, making it the only silver pandal out of 187 Durga Puja pandals in Mayurbhanj. For the last several years, both the Hindu and Muslim communities in Baripada have together been celebrating all the festivals with great enthusiasm, be it Muharram or Durga Puja. यहाँ हमारे सभी संप्रदाय के लोग मिल बैठ के रहते हैं यहाँ इमाम बड़ा में मोहरम होता है बहुत धूमधाम से यहाँ दुर्गा पूजा भी होता है बहुत धूमधाम से हम सब लोग मिल बैठ के रहते हैं किस, किसी किसी का कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है सब एक साथ रहते हैं भाईचारे के साथ रहते हैं हमें बहुत खुशी है कि पूजा भी होता है मोहरम भी होता है हमें बहुत खुशी है द वे नाइन डे दुर्गा पूजा फेस्टिवल मार्क्स द एंड ऑफ बफलो डीम एन महिषासुर बाय गॉडेस दुर्गा एंड कमेमोरेट्स द विक्ट्री ऑफ गुड ओवर ईवल a similar message is spread by the residents of Baripada as well, who for years have been killing the demon of hatred and violence with their love and brotherhood. Khadi in India is all set for a makeover, with the government aiming to promote it as a global fabric. Be it through promotions, exhibitions or advertisements, government is making all its attempts to help Khadi set a bigger play in foreign market. In its line of such initiatives, Khadi Mahotsav was recently organized in the Lucknow city of Uttar Pradesh. Take a look. To popularize Khadi and take it to every house in Uttar Pradesh, Khadi Mahotsav was recently organized in Lucknow. The 10 day exhibition was held as a part of the Mahatma Gandhi's 150th birth anniversary celebration. A number of artisans, especially from the state, displayed the Khadi products at the event that not only provided them with a platform to sell their products, but enabled them to interact with their customers face to face. तो बहुत अच्छा रिस्पांस आ रहा है खरीदारी भी बहुत अच्छी चल रही है और बहुत मजा आ रहा है लोगों को इंटरैक्ट करने में लोगों को डिजाइंस पसंद आ रही हैं तो बहुत अच्छा माहौल है और बहुत ही बहुत सारी वैरायटीज हैं यहां पे और बहुत सारे लोग और बहुत सारी चीजें मिल रही हैं लोगों को तो लोगों को भी मजा आ रहा है यहां पे एक मेला है छोटा सा मेला है जिसमें हर तरह की चीजें हैं और बहुत अच्छी अपॉर्चुनिटी हम लोग को यहां पे मिली है अपना शोकेस करने के लिए और लोगों के साथ इंटरैक्ट करने के लिए कस्टमर्स के साथ Alongside Khadi wares, several utensils, specially made up of mud and clay, were also showcased. The solar charkhas and the special food products too grabbed many eyeballs during the exhibition. The exhibitors urged the government to have more such events every year so that they can get a good market for their products. जितने भी प्रोडक्ट्स हमने यहाँ प्रोसेस किए हैं इसमें ज़्यादातर बिना वाइट शुगर वाइट सॉल्ट के हैं और जिनको स्पेशली डायबिटिक एंड बीपी पेशेंट्स भी आप एंजॉय कर सकते हैं जितना अभी तक प्रोडक्ट्स से सारे के सारे बॉयल हो करके एन ऑल आते थे जिसमें 60-70 परसेंट शुगर और विटामिन सी की मात्रा बहुत कम हो जाती थी जैसे मुरब्बा वगैरह हम अभी तक खा रहे थे जो डायबिटिक लोग नहीं ले पाते थे उनके लिए हमने डेवलप किया है इन इंडिया मोर देन एटी लाख पीपल आर एम्प्लॉयड इन खादी इंडस्ट्री and if it is promoted well, 
then it will not only boost India's economy growth but also create new employment opportunities as well. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at suggest.myindia at gmail.com. I'm your host, Surbhi Sharma, and it's a goodbye from the entire production team.